hey, I might actually have a video this weekend. I'm not sure yet, but uh, a couple weeks ago we had a really, 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 look at my, my basement says freaking trash, man. Anyway, we had a really, really, really bad, bad windstorm. And uh, I had a 40 meter dipole antenna in the front yard that snapped, which is no big deal. And uh, uh, I haven't put it up yet, but I was looking online today. I have a 20 meter antenna in my attic and I could do that because the legs are short enough. But I started looking and I can actually put a 40 meter up there if I zig the, zag the legs just a tad. And I don't know how good it's gonna be, but uh, I've got my antenna analyzer and I've got plenty of wire. I mean plenty, I mean plenty of wire as you can see here. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go try to put a 40 meter dipole in the attic and check it with my antenna analyzer to see if it's gonna work. Shouldn't be too hard to do, but it's time consuming. Everybody who's ever made an antenna knows you gotta keep trimming the ends until you get it right. Um, and I read somewhere that as long as I get the first 10 feet of each of the 40 meter legs straight, I can zag the ends a little bit. Um, so each leg is going to be around 32 feet, and uh, my attic's not quite 60 feet <laughs> in length. But uh, so hopefully I'll get it set up. And I don't know how true it is, but I should look. And I, it makes sense that if you're transmitting, uh, this is going to be a uh, what they call this a, a fan dipole. So you can have I could put multiple legs up there. I could put you know a 10 meter or 17 or a 12 meter antenna up there as well, and which is not a bad idea because you know you're radio will ignore the legs that aren't resonant and it'll just transmit on the resonant legs of the antenna so we'll see if this works i might add some to it never know so more to come all right so here we are back in my attic and i've shown you this before this is um yes part of my band is i tried to cut the tip of my thumb off last night because it's making me mad i guess but um this is the feed point this is a uh, this is a BNC to banana plug adapter or cobra head, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got the, it's tied in a knot for the strain relief. It's connected on the top here, and uh, this is my 20 meter dipole. One leg goes down there, it's tied off to that box, and the other leg goes the other way behind all the other crap you see. Um, that is not that bad in space. Um, I got piled up stuff over here. A lot of this belongs to my kids who have left home and had decided to leave some of their crap here. So I'm figuring with a 40 meter dipole, I'm going to run the leg to that corner and over there and probably run a zag this way and do the same on this opposite side here. Now this post is almost in the middle of the attic, but I don't think it's quite in the middle. So we'll see what I can do and uh, once I get it going, I'll show you everything along the way. All right, let me tell you, this is, <laughs> It's turned out to be uh, quite the adventure for me. Man, that light is kind of bright. I, uh, I did a lot of filming up here, and uh, apparently when I thought I stopped recording, I didn't, I just laid the camera down. So when I picked it back up to start recording again, I hit the record button, which stopped the recording. Anyway, um, I started editing the video, realized how crappy it was, and decided to come back up and just show you um, what I did. So I know it's dark, and I'll do the best I can here. So. This is the feed point, okay? Um, this leg right here and this leg are my 20 meter um, dipole legs. So one of these legs, this leg, and this leg is my six meter antenna. Um, this leg over here, sorry. <laughs> this leg over here is part of the 40 meter leg. So it goes up here and it goes straight down over there. Man, this is not looking good. It goes all the way down to the other side, okay? And then it comes down over there, and then it zigzags down to this side over here. So, um, hold on, it comes all the way top, it comes down over here, and zigzags over that way. And it's exactly what it does on the opposite side. Now, the 17 meter and the six meter, they just go straight across, and they, they you can see maybe a little bit right there, that's where I think the, I think that's the six meter dangling a little bit, but um, it's like that on both sides of the attic. The lighting is so bad up here, I don't really want to get uh, and try to crawl around and show you all the wires, but that's basically what it looks like. I mean, it's not bad at all, you know? I mean, I got 20 meter dipole, 
6 meter, 17 meter, 40 meter, all in one area. And the SWR, <laughs> and the SWR is going to be here coming up in just a second and I'll show you on the meter downstairs in the actual room. So my feed point, let's cover this. Um, this is the feed point. These are a bunch of ferrite beads that I have snapped on here. This is just a short piece of uh, coax. It comes down here and runs out. It goes out that window down the side of the house. Goes down the side of the house over that way and into a window. This, this, is, this is the roof of the room downstairs. So it's not bad. It actually works surprisingly. So let me get out of here and uh, finish editing this video. Okay, this is probably take three. This is take three. The first time I did this in the attic, um, I, I, I did something wrong with the, with the camera buttons. Um, I got a lot of footage of the camera laying on the ground pointing up at the ceiling. And when it came time to me to show you the, the uh, SWR for each of the legs that I put on that fan dipole, it, it, the footage is just not there. So anyway, I'm down in the room where my radio is located. Um, and this is a 70, I think it's a 75 foot section of coax, it might be 50, but it runs out my window uh, and it goes up the side of the house into the attic window. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and start this all over again and I'll start with the um, 17 meter um, leg of that fan dipole and I'll just punch in the um, center frequency or, or thereabouts. And so the SWR on that leg is 1.6 to 1. On the rest of the data, um, it could be better, honestly. Um, the resistance is not bad. The reactance could be a lot better. Could be a lot better. But for the SWR, um, it's going to work just fine. I'm not no no problems with that at all. Um, we'll move on up to the 20 meter leg, which is so here, here we go. 14, one, seven, five. There we go. Okay, let's just check the SWR real quick. Now let's let this run its course. I don't know why I'm doing here. So let's just go to SWR. Here we go. All right. So the SWR on that is is 2.1 to 1, which is not good. I mean, it's not bad. Um, it'll definitely work. I just don't want to go up there and mess with that antenna. My, my biggest fear is I'm going to cut too much of it off, and it's it's going to ruin it. And then I'll have to run new wires all the way around. So I'm just going to leave it alone at that. I've made plenty of contacts with this antenna um, at this SWR setting. Let me see what the rest of the stuff looks like here. Okay, so, yep, that's not, not the ideal, but it's not horrible. I've made plenty of content. I keep moving this. This is the third, second time I did this. I have my finger over the microphone. So anyway, this is not bad. So we'll move on up to 40 meters. Um, so we'll go back to frequency and we'll go 7150. Oh, how about this? How about zero? All right, let me start this all over again. So we'll go to frequency, and we'll go to 07150. And we'll check SWR, and <laughs> 1 1.5 to 1. So that's not bad for a zigzag 40 meter dipole in the attic. And I don't know, I might go back up there to show you the way the legs are ran, but it's not that big of, an, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a thing. Um, I might be able to do a diagram and just throw a picture up instead. I don't want to climb back up in the attic right now. So that's not bad. And um, we'll check uh, the whole gambit of data here. Um, and that's that's really not horrible either. I mean, the re uh, resistance could be better, I guess. Is that or impedance, whatever I'm trying to say. The reactance is not horrible. So that's a pretty good. I think the 40 meter looks better on the meter. But um, time will tell when I start trying to make contacts on this band and how well I get out. So let me go see if I can do a diagram of how this antenna is set up. And I did put a six meter antenna up there, but uh, this meter only goes up to 30 megahertz, so I couldn't uh, check it that way. And I do have a, I'll have to show it to you here, one of those Sark 100s, but I don't trust it. But give me a minute and let me see if I can get that set up. This meter is horrible to use. You just gotta keep hitting band until you get to, there we go. <coughs> Six meters. So let's scan it, see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, what am I doing here at the bandwidth? So at 51 megahertz, I'm getting a 1.4 to 1 SWR. Um, 
I guess. And let's see if I can increase the, the frequency. Let's see what it's like in the middle of the band. I can go up to 52 megahertz. I don't think there's a way I can move that cursor to make it go any faster. In the middle of the band, it's still on the, almost two to one, but look at that, that is not good. Now I do have a tuner in here, and um, I could probably hook that tuner up. And I can also have a, I, have a, I do have, I can make a bay one for it, but um, let me see if I can put it through the tuner and see how that looks. Same.